So in this video, we're going to cover the setup of the circuit for non-invasive ventilation with some of the additional accessories as well. So here we've got the components for the FiO2 sensor. So that's monitoring the fraction of inspired oxygen that we're delivering to the patient when entraining oxygen through the device. We've then got the end tidal CO2 monitor. So that's monitoring the CO2 coming from the patient. We've got our non-vented mask here. So when using a non-vented mask, it's then really important that you have a leak port in the circuit here to ensure that the patient can get rid of their CO2. We now have two bacterial filters here. So one will sit down at the device end and then one will sit at patient end. So one filter is protecting the air coming to the patient and the other one is protecting the air coming from the patient going out into the room through the leak port. And then we have our tubing here as well. So now to start assembling the circuit. So first we'll start with the FiO2 sensor. So we take our T-piece, the cell, push the two together. Then we have our cable that sits in the top there. And we can connect that up to the device. And then, so white outlet kicks into the white port on the side. We then have our first bacterial filter. So we connect that to one end of the circuit. So if we connect it here, like that. Then we have our leak port to connect at the top of the circuit here. Then the end tidal CO2 sensor. So like we say, we've got the airway adapter as well as the sensor itself. So the adapter sits in the circuit like that and then slots into the leak port there. So we know now the yellow connection sits in the yellow outlet on the device. And we have a final bacterial filter then at the patient end. So here we have then the non-vented mask. So the blue elbow on the front here is an indication that it is a non-vented mask. This then fits over the patient's nose and mouth. So we take the elbow and connect on the front of the bacterial filter there. It will go that way up and then the headgear is positioned across the patient's head. Okay, so just to summarise, we've just covered the setup of a non-invasive circuit with a couple of the additional accessories. A couple of important points to remember. So with the mask, the blue elbow there indicates that it is a non-vented mask. That means that you will need to have a leak port in a circuit somewhere so that the patient can get rid of their exhaled air. We then need to have two bacterial filters in the circuit for patients with COVID-19. So the one at this end is protecting the air coming from the patient before it leaks out to the room through the leak port. This one at the device end is protecting the air coming up to the patient. So then the last thing to say about the end tidal CO2 sensor is that it comes in two parts. The airway adapter here is disposable and should be changed in between patients. The actual sensor itself is not single patient use and just needs to be cleaned in between patients.